Are we set? Okay. Okay. I'm Adam Weiss. I do a number of different things. I'm a podcast consultant. I do um, both on camera and off camera hosting of videos, uh, science videos, and a number of other things. And I, I actually have too many things to talk about in two minutes, so hopefully I can go a little bit over because I have some questions as well. But my show and tell is a pretty normal netbook, but my uses for it I thought would be interesting to people. If you're thinking about getting one of these, there are a number of things I've figured out that I can do with this that make it better than a laptop, not just for portability. First of all, I do have Snow Leopard installed on this, which is why I have the sticker on it. It's a, it's a Dell Mini 10V with Snow Leopard, which was very, very easy to install. There's a guide on gizmodo.com that sets you through the process pretty easily. It took a couple hours to do. Um, it would have, if I had to do it again, it would take 45 minutes minus the copying the Snow Leopard DVD to a flash drive. So it was really a quick process. But once I did that, I was actually really impressed with this as essentially a little portable studio because one of the biggest advantages this has over a laptop is that it has no fan in it. So if you do audio or video recording, it doesn't make any noise. And it has a powered microphone input jack with 5 volt power, so you can actually plug microphones into this and record directly into it. And it will run Soundtrack Pro. So I can record directly into Soundtrack Pro on this laptop with decent quality. And I experimented as well with taking this shotgun mic and plugging it into the laptop. And it, uh, it works very, very well for sound. It's a little silly plugging a microphone that costs more than the computer into the computer, but it works. The other thing that I can use this for, which I'm really excited about with this camera, is I can use it as a live monitor. Not wirelessly, no. <laughs> but you can do it with a cable. But you could do it with a wireless USB link. Yeah, you, you could do it with a wireless USB link. You could USB link. So explain what you, what you just said. Yes, meaning I'll explain it as I'm plugging it in because yes. it'll take time to do this. Um, you can get the output from this camera, both for stills and for video, to go through the USB cable into a laptop. And I can run Aperture if I want and capture photos directly. Or I can run the software that comes with the camera to capture either the images on the here or stream the video. Let me turn this on and I'll show you how it works. So I can use this as a second monitor. I can see what's going on on the screen here, and I can also see what's going on on the screen here. Now there's a little bit of a delay and it's a low frame rate, so it's not something you're going to get for great, great quality. Good question. Yeah, how long did it take you to hack Intelligent Laptop? A couple hours. And if, like I said, it would be faster if um, if you didn't have to copy everything.